Hey y'all, it's Marna. I'm back with another YouTube video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure y'all follow my socials down below because I am back on social media. So definitely go follow my social media if you want to keep up with my life. As y'all can tell by the title, today we are going to be reading people's confessions. Now, I'm a little scared because y'all, people... I don't know. I'm not be reading people's confessions. It just be making me like second guess on, you know, society. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing wrong? But yeah, today we are going to be nosy and we are going to be reading people's confessions. I haven't read any of them. I'm just on Reddit and we're just gonna scroll through and literally just pick random stuff to like read. Like, if it sounds interesting, um, we gonna read it. Everything is anonymous, so we're not really getting all the tea like we don't know who it is but we getting some teas if y'all like this video make sure y'all like and don't forget to subscribe make sure y'all subscribe to this channel if y'all want to see more of me and also keep up with my life so yeah let's get started the first one i see is i'm still in love with my cousin what you're in love with your cousin. You can love your cousin like family, like oriented, like I love my cousin, but in love, in love. Y'all, let's read this. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay, this started happening a while back when I was nine years old. This is a female. And my cousin, 14 years old, he's a male. There was this family gathering, you know, the kind where it is all awkward and you sit in the corner by yourself until an aunt says, you're quiet, aren't you? Well, yes, that's what it was like. I don't like the entire scene of being around people in social gatherings then and now. So this will make a lot of sense. My cousin and siblings would always be so close at the gatherings. I would play tag and all those type of games. I don't know why I decided to join them, but I did. Fast forward through most of the night, me and my cousin got very touchy. What? I would sit in his lap and when I got up, he would grab me by my waist and sit me back down on him. He would hug me from behind, just extremely touchy for cousins. First of all, y'all is nine and 14. Why is y'all touching each other like that? Like, why are y'all being so touchy like where are y'all getting this from where are the parents where's the aunties like you said the aunties was there where are the aunties and you know that these gatherings it doesn't die down till the next day so best believe we slept there my cousin my younger brother which who is seven and i slept in the same room that night my cousin's bed was was small a twin size bed so you can imagine how cramped it was the thing is that I was facing the wall and my cousin was in the middle and my brother on the very edge. My brother was asleep or so I hope. I wasn't aware if he was asleep or not. And if he wasn't, I hope he forgot. He forgot about this by now. First of all, what was y'all doing? What were y'all doing? For you hoping that your brother was asleep, what were y'all doing? Let's keep on reading y'all. My cousin and I were awake, talking about God knows what. I turned to face the wall and we we're basically in the spooning position. <laughs> uh -uh. He puts his hand on my tummy and raises it higher and higher, touching my chest. He was squeezed my ASS a lot and then we would kiss. This is so inappropriate, y'all. This is crazy. I don't even know if I should be like reading this confession because it just sounds like... It does not sound okay. Like, this is not okay. Where are the parents? First of all, why is a little girl sleeping in a bed with two boys? Like, okay, I can understand they're a cousin. There's a cousin and then there's a brother. But if anything, if they are going to sleep together in the bed, she should be, like, on the way edge by her brother, not by the cousin. Like, they shouldn't even be in bed together at all. But that's, that's my opinion. I don't know how y'all are raised or how y'all were raised but the girls never slept by the boys like that's just a no-go it's not because stuff like this happens and it's not okay as for he's basically she said that they started kissing she basically saying that this feeling has not went away like her her basic her feelings for him did not go away and they are now she's now 16 and he's 20 
And she said, every time I see him now, I just want to lean in and kiss him and F him and be with him. I want a relationship with my cousin. Whenever we're alone, I always hope he would give me a sign that he wants the same thing, even though he most likely doesn't. Conclusion, I'm in love with my cousin. <laughs> Girl, you need to get a grip. That is not okay. First of all, he is 20 years old. First of all, he is your cousin. Like, that is crazy. And she said she basically been feeling this way. She's now 16 and he's 20. This is not okay, ma'am. This is not. Oh, let me know what y'all think about that confession because that was a little crazy. Like, mm -mm. the next one, poop in woods while golfing pooped in the woods let's see what they have to say y'all i was playing golf today with a girl i'm a guy and my stomach started to hurt bad there was no bathroom inside i eventually hit my ball in woods intentionally and told her i was going to go look for it but she but she could go on to her ball <laughs> she was playing too she was playing too and what she was playing too and is pretty good. I then ran in the woods and dropped my pants at the last second and squirt squirt took a huge shit. <laughs> I then cleaned up with a golf towel I had on me and walked out the woods like nothing happened. I found one ball in woods, a crappy Wilson ball. I laughed as I walked out that it wasn't even worth the search after just finding the Wilson. I never said a word about it and I don't think she knew. That is crazy. That is hilarious. To be honest, that is hilarious. It's funny. The fact that he wiped his butt with a golf towel. The fact that he even took a shit in the woods like he's a dog or something like that's too funny i can understand if you peed but you're taking a shit in the woods on a date that is dirty you would have to hold it should have had hold it next one people are like people in this world are crazy somebody said i can't stop thinking about kidnapping someone and keeping them tied up in my house. Sir or ma'am, you need to go into a mental institution. You need to be checked up there. Let's see what they said. It sounds evil, but it's nothing like that. I don't want them to leave me. Everyone already has. This sounds like some Jeffrey Dahmer stuff. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, no, like, this is exactly what it sounds like. My dad didn't bother hanging around and my mother couldn't have cared less. No no other family except my grandma. Y'all, this sounds too much like Jeffrey Dahmer. If y'all know the story, it sounds just like this, what? But one day she might leave me too. I find it hard to make friends because I never really got that human connection growing up. There's nothing sexual or sadistic in it. I just want someone to stay with me and the only way it seems possible is against their will. I'm so crippling alone, alone, I don't even care about life anymore. Oh, that's sad. I want someone beautiful who I can keep as my own. Over, over time, they'd grow to love me if they knew I wouldn't get any joy from hurting them. Is it too much to ask that somebody stays? I want to be able to have control in my life too. Never had any in, never had any and everyone just tells me what to do all the time my mother especially made me feel so worthless and unwanted since i was born she didn't even hold me it sounds crazy but for years now i've been almost like a it's been almost like a compulsion i'm so miserable and alone and far too pathetic and socially in, inept i don't even know how to say that um for anybody to ever actually care about at the point i'd be somewhat willing to keep someone drugged or even i don't even know how to say that l-o-b-l-t-o-m-i-s-e i don't know how to say that anyways maybe i would have had something more to offer at some point but the only thing i'd say i'm useful for is organ donation I don't want to hurt anybody and I want to almost possess and treasure somebody I find beautiful. 
I have nothing else left in my life and I lo I'm lonely to the point where I don't care if I live or die. Okay, first of all, this is just sad. Second of all, I feel like they should like get a pet or something. Like, I don't think you need to go grab somebody and then tie them up and keep them in your basement. Like, that's kind of weird to me. Maybe you need some like mental health. Like, it seemed like the way they were growing up is really, really sad, but um, I don't think that's the way you should go about it. I'm not trying to sound mean. I hope they are doing fine and they um, come to their senses or like come to a better understanding of life and come to a better understanding of how society works because that's not the way to do it. That's I pee in my sister's shampoo. What? What? Come again? You pee in your sister's shampoo? Y'all, let's read this. this. This is crazy. Whenever my sister, female 17, pisses me off, I, female 15, pee in my sister's shampoo. Y'all are too old. Like, you're too old. You're 15 years old. That's ridiculous. You're in high school and you're peeing in your sister's freaking shampoo. Like, that's just dirty and disgusting. That's, that's down bad. Let's keep reading, y'all. My sister has a very strong, pungent, pomegranate shampoo that smells terrible. Kind of like urine. So, I thought one day, would she be able to tell if I peed in it? There's one thing about me, though. Once I start a shower and hear the water i immediately need to piss i basically pavolved i guess i don't know what she's trying to say pavolved myself into doing this so whenever she pisses me off i piss in her pomegranate shampoo a piss for a piss if you will i pee just enough so you can't smell it but the shampoo is so strong you can't even tell i think the worst part is that I've joked about doing this to her and I think she's catching on. She also watches those Reddit story times too. So to make things short, I pee in my sister's shampoo when I get angry at her. That That's messed up. Like that's really just down bad. Like first of all, that, that's disgusting. And she can get sick because that's so much bacteria. Like that is... Mm, your sister need to beat your ass. Like, your sister need to whoop you. Next one. I walked into my dad having sex with my grandma. Oh my God, what is wrong with people? When I was 11 years old, my dad would always ask my mom, when are we going to see my mom's mother? She said, she said soon. And one day my mom, my mom, my dad, and I were going to visit grandma, AKA my mom's mom. My dad said that we're running low on fruits. So, oh, I lost my count. So my mom said we'll have to go home and get some. My dad encouraged my grandmother to come and she said, okay. When mom dropped us off, she went to the store. My dad told me to go play outside and I did because it was my father's command. 20 minutes later, me and my mom walked into my dad doing it with my grandma on the couch. I'm currently living in a divorced household. First of all, I'm so sorry you're having to go through that and you had to see that at 11 years old. Second of all, your dad has some issues and so does that grandmother. That is disgusting. I don't know what's wrong with people. Like, I really don't know what's wrong with people. Next one is I farted in my mom's mouth. That is... <laughs> Oh my god. When I was like four or five years old, my mom was napping on the sofa with her mouth wide open. And I don't know why I squatted up on the arm of the chair <laughs> with my ass hanging directly in her face and farted straight into her mouth. She woke up coughing and heaving and ran to be sick. I got in deep trouble that day. I still bring it up to her now and then, and she still gets angry. Every time I think of it, I still get hysterical laughing. i probably do it again, given the chance. That is messed up. That is hilarious, but it's messed up. Because, like, I mean, it's funny because you're, like, four or five, but it's messed up because unless somebody fart in my mouth.
we just fighting. I would have been so angry. I would have been so mad. I probably would have kicked that boy. Okay, y'all, I couldn't find any more like funny slash interesting slash crazy confessions on reddit like that's all i could find so hopefully y'all like this video but if y'all do want a part two and y'all can send me y'all confessions and i can read them we could do that make sure y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all would want uh also follow my social medias down below you guys because i'm back active today's october 1st so i'm back active so make sure y'all go follow my social media so y'all can be you know caught up with my life basically um, i love you guys oh so much make sure you guys lcs lcs and i love you guys peace